guys welcome to my channel so today's video is about my February favorites today I'll be talking about everything that I really loved in the month of February and I really like doing these kind of videos because uh, I feel this is such a personal video so it is just my favorites and I would also love to know what are your favorites so yeah let's get started with the video because I'm pretty sure I'm again going to make it into a longer video which I really don't want to do the first thing that I think should have been in my January favorites is actually this planner guys because this is featuring into my February favorites the only only reason is that because I totally forgot using it so let me quickly tell you one thing if you've not started using a planner you can start any time there is no good time to actually start writing in a planner start maintaining in a planner so I started in this one um, in the month of February and I I am a planner girl actually I have so many planners for everything I have a planner I have a planner for YouTube I have a planner for my studies and I have a planner for all my uh, you know essential things that I write in there a planner is extremely essential so I got this planner from Amazon if you guys have seen that haul I'm sure you remember it so the best thing about this planner is that it doesn't have the months and the dates and all those things written so what that makes life really easy why because you can start it from the first page literally and you don't feel guilty of wasting any page because there is no date which is like printed you have to put the date so this is what it looks like I definitely have not filled this part this belongs to always makes me uh, you know remember my school days because I always used to write Sana so that I have left it blank and so what this planner actually looks like is in the beginning of every month there is this calendar kind of a thing and you just fill in the month over here so that means again you don't feel guilty of wasting any month or any date if you've not used it so that's how I like to I actually put post-its for all the important things that I need to actually uh, look forward to on the coming dates and then there are a lot of things over here where you can put in all kind of things and then you also have an empty space where you can take your notes or you can write whatever you want I'm totally enjoying this planner and I love writing into planners if you like write, writing into planners it definitely need not be like this one it can be a simple plain book I think maintaining a planner is the most satisfying thing that is the first thing I can go on talking about it but that's not what I'm gonna do moving on to the next product that I absolutely loved and to be very honest I had no idea that I'm gonna love it I think I showed you guys my health wit box so in that I got this activated charcoal it's a peel off mask and uh, it is a great product I used it and it gives you that instant brightening kind of a thing as if every bit of impurity is just out of your system it is such an amazing product and I just applied it it is a little bit difficult to take off the peel because at times it breaks that uh, awkward places that means it gets a little bit cracked and broken so it doesn't come evenly off from your face so you have to kind of peel it off you know like an orange peel so yeah I'm I'm just loving this product I think you can try any activated charcoal peel off mask it necessarily not be this one you can try anyone because activated charcoal in general is a great thing for your skin especially if you have any kind of a sensitive skin and especially if you have oily skin so I loved this product then moving on to some product which I think you guys have seen me on and off every time in all my makeup videos is this one now this is by the body shop this is drops of youth youth cream this is a kind of a moisturizer for me this has totally changed the game of moisturizer for me because I am one of those people who have oily skin and who always feel that moisturizer makes the skin even oilier so I never ever ever used moisturizers and this has changed the things for me I cannot live without this now and it's a very bad thing because this is very expensive I got this on a 50% off from the body shop website but I don't think it's gonna go on sale every time so I have used quite a lot of this actually I'm, I'm halfway through it and I've been using it quite a lot so I really like this product a lot I am so much in love with this one next one is this one so this one actually came in my vanity cask box yes this is the nature score watermelon body butter if you guys have used this let me tell you it is the most amazing body butters ever I stopped using body shop body butters I mean for the entire of Jan even January then February I used this and this is such a great product I have used so much still so much of this is left and it smells like delicious very juicy watermelon it's like just a 
fresh red color watermelon or chilled watermelon out of the fridge is cut and you're just taking a crispy bite of it. It is such a beautiful fragrance. It is so amazing. I simply love it and it is so moisturizing. I can't tell you guys. So uh, because now I know that it sells on Nature's Co website, I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. Even though this is like a small tub, but it really, really lasts such a long time. If you can, try giving it a sniff. This is the most amazing fragrances of watermelon I have ever come across, to be very honest. And when you just give it a sniff, you're going to feel automatically thirsty. It is amazing. Just so amazing. Moving on to the next product that I have absolutely loved and I would like to recommend to you guys is this one. This is the Mridul Soap Free Face Cleanser. This is by Kama Ayurveda and I have used, this is a tester pack of it because I got it during a purchase on Nika just to test it out for free. It's a sample product and I have used it every bit of it. So I went ahead and splurged on this one. This is a full size product and this is actually priced at around somewhere around 795 rupees but this is a great product. I really like it. So this is what it looks like and I have uh, spoken at length about it in my Kama Ayurveda's video so you can definitely watch it but if you are having some kind of sensitive skin it is a great product. It is all very natural so it's a great product. I'm really liking it and I can I just use it every day even though it is almost like a scrub but I just like to use it every day and I can really feel the difference. Even though it is soap free and my skin is oily, still I do not feel oily after washing my face using this one. I don't know what is the magic of this product but I totally loved it and a lot of you actually like it. So, so when I did my Kama Ayurveda's haul, so many of you actually told me that you guys love this uh, cleanser which is called as Mridul Soap Free Cleanser. I love it. In fact, I love all the Kama products but this in particular is really my favorite. Moving on to some nail paints guys and um, you guys know that I love nail paints. I am really a nail paint lover. So today I have to show you three nail paints that are my like absolute favorite and I'm just switching over between these three and the rest nail paints are literally drying. I'm not using them. So these are the three ones. If you have seen the haul, you must be aware about it. This is the first one. This is by Color Bar and this is in the shade Sweet Lilac. So this is what actually I'm wearing on my nails at the moment. It is a matte nail paint. It is a beautiful nail paint. It is not very opaque. It is very sheer in the first application but the second coat gives you a perfect uh, coverage. It's a very beautiful, subtle kind of a nail paint so if you do not like wearing nail paints but still you like to have something on your nails maybe this is the one you should go for this is a little expensive for me at least this is somewhere around 300 something 350 and I got it on a sale so, so I always buy my nail paints on a sale the next one is my absolute favorite and this is by Nykaa's a gel a shine this is salon pro and this is in the shade this is in the shade Dubai Dune Bashing and this is a beautiful shade, very beautiful nude shade, something that you can wear to office, something you can wear to college and you can just wear it anywhere. It is such a multi-purpose color and it is such a fabulous color. So all the nail paints that I'm showing you will give good coverage only on the second application. So I really like this one and every time I have worn it, a lot of people have asked me what are you wearing on your nails because it looks really beautiful. The next nail paint that I really like is this. So I love white especially nail paints white is my most favorite color and especially if it's a pearl white pearl white is my favorite color this is by Nykaa's silk nail lacquer and it is in the shade my fair lady I absolutely love it and I think all through the summer you will see me in this or any of these three. So these were my three top favorite nail paints that I have been wearing every single day. I've been just repeating between these. Now moving on to some other product, a perfume. How can I not show you guys a perfume? So for perfumes, I have been really enjoying this one. This is by Marks and Spencers and this is Butterfly Garden. If you guys have not seen my Marks and Spencers perfume, you should definitely watch it if you like perfumes. I totally love this fragrance. It is such a beautiful floral but a clean fragrance and it is such a beautiful citrusy floral nice fragrance so perfect for this time of the year which is spring and summer and it is like a sunshine and a lot of flowers around i totally love this fragrance during this month of the time and i'm totally loving it it is also very long lasting lasts like for around five hours which is like good for me and i'm absolutely loving this one now moving on to something that i have been really enjoying and which is an eatable thing i loved this dadi's khakra that i bought from uh, amazon and this is kind of 
of really bland and it tastes like it doesn't have a lot of salt it doesn't have a lot of spice to it but it tastes really good and uh, this is a methi khakra uh, it's great because it is kind of healthy. This is what it says on the website. This pack is for 20 rupees and I bought a lot of those. So actually I replaced my papar and when I'm eating dal chawal, I replaced papar with this khakra and it tastes delicious. My dal chawal has suddenly been revamped. So that's what I'm going to say. It is really delicious. So I got myself the bigger version of this one. This is the actual khakra and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is, if you guys are not aware about khakra, it's a Gujarati dish. And this is a beautiful circular khakra. This is a methi khakra and it is delicious guys. Literally delicious. So that was something that I have been enjoying quite a lot. And every day with dal chawal, this has to be there on my plate. Moving on to the last but of course one of my most favorite things is this book by Soha Ali Khan. And this is her book which is called as The Perils of Being Moderately Famous. It's an amazing book. I'm not so much of these kind of books. It is definitely a very fast read. So when this was launched I just grabbed it from Amazon. It is definitely a one-time read but I don't mind it having in my collection. There is something about Soha Ali Khan that I really like. But there is something in her personality that attracts me. So when she came out with this book of hers, I was like, I'm going to grab it. I just wanted the book. So I really, really like this book. I'm not really so much of a fan of the actor side of Soha Ali Khan but I really like her personality. There is something, you know, so strong about her personality even though she's like very petite and feminine still. There is something, an aura which is attached to her and I don't feel that about everybody. So that's why this book was really important and I really wish that she writes more. So I really like this book and with that I come to an end of this video. This finishes my February favorites. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being with me if you watched this video all this while and thank you so much for everything. Also if you like this video do not forget to give this video a quick thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. There's a button also click that bell button. That is the usual saga that I say all the time and comment in the comments below what are the things that you really liked in the month of February or in general in the month of March as well. So I would love to try that out. So thank you so much once again for watching. I will see you in my next video very soon. Till then take care of yourself. Keep happy, keep healthy, keep smiling and I love you very much and happy March. Bye!